Thank you all for tuning in to Breathing is Highly Dangerous. We are giving our first breath, working toward and hoping for the next, all the while fearing our last. Welcome to the show. No. The event. A little bit more grand. The movement. That's better, I like that. The movement of the century. Well, movement, that may be a little bit much. How about a conquest to forbid the ones ignosable that try to impinge their iniquitous veracity to our thoughts? Here is your host, he puts the UN Unusual, the P in Pterodactyl. Not just why, he also asked how. Thank you all. Welcome back to Breathing is Highly Dangerous. This is Manny here, back with a different video. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing... Today I'm going to be essentially psychoanalyzing one of the guests that Fresh and Fit had on their podcast uh, that I saw of their live stream that just popped up in my feed. It's excellent. Um, it's very intriguing, so I'm not going to play the entire thing as you can tell by the length of this video. I'm going to be mainly focusing on this one particular woman. And we're going to decide either her statements were rational or mental, right? And you'd be surprised at exactly how many are on, on, on either side, or maybe not. But uh, without further ado, let us get into that. So I'll be watching, and then I'll make immediate responses. So recently I literally had like a deep conversation with dude okay and i was just like ah, if females did not have a vagina mm -hmm. and it wasn't about sex mm -hmm. who do you think would be in charge like 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 who the fuck do you think would be in charge right. it would be, it would be men it was, even more it wasn't so. about yeah. sex it was yeah. not about sex it's not nothing about sex Y'all want to know the truth? Honestly, if truthfully? we didn't have a vagina no, and we truthfully didn't have a one, vagina. One at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Go ahead, finish your thought and then you can go and then you can go. go ahead. If we did not have a vagina and it wasn't about sex, mm -hmm. who do you think would be in charge? Not physically, not mentally, nothing. I'll let y'all go first. Who do you think physically would be in, or not physically, who do you think would be in charge? I'll let, I know you had something to say. Okay, so first response. The video is not going to be about this chick in particular, but she's the one that presents this question that then has the rest of the events unfold because of this question. So a response to her really quick. She said she had deep conversation with her boyfriend or whatever, or her best friend. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. She is, the thought that she thinks this conversation or this proposal or this idea could have anything that is substantive proves that she does not have the capacity or understanding of what a deep conversation is. Because this, the answer to that question is, is very rational. Without, if they, and they've answered this multiple times throughout this video. I'm not going to repeat that. That's not a deep conversation. Okay. She says a deep conversation, like an hour long, where she repeats this throughout the video. Just because you have a long conversation, that means you're not able to intellectually present your ideas in a rational manner. So for the person that you were arguing with, th there's no argument. One of you, or both of you, do not know what you're talking about if this is an argument. Long conversation does not mean deep conversation. That's the basis of it. Okay. On to the next clip. Men don't need women to survive, but you guys need us to survive. We need you guys to continue society. So, if you can't bear children, you're effectively useless and you're wasting resources, so you will die and the animals will come and get you. The reason why men have protected women since the beginning of time is because you guys get us offspring to ensure our legacy. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right. Now, I know you don't like what I gotta say. My you have something for that. Nah, do you have something for that? I know you don't like what I just said, but... So, uh, you think, so you think we're here it's solely for reproduction it's purposes? Only not yes. 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 Solely. For human yes. 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 That's why, that's why we're here on Earth. In the Bible. To re reproduce. Oh, in the everybody, Bible, but not everybody believes in the that's same thing. Saying, so, I mean, I can understand where you're coming from. I can understand your opinion, but I don't want you to sit here and list that as fact in front of everybody yeah. here because that the that doesn't like, that doesn't resonate with everyone. <laughs> okay. For you okay. to say that you you personally probably. So this is the girl we we're talking about. Her name is Ashley. I found that out by someone else saying her name in the video, and I think she said her name in the video. So her first questioning was. So you believe women's sole purpose or solely 
Their sole purpose is to produce children. And, and I believe his name is Myron, said, yes. Classical mistake. Uh, he didn't mean that. He doesn't mean that. That's not their sole purpose. It, in his rationale, the way he rationalized it, he understands that. But he, it may have just been in the moment thing. So that was where got her off the rails to start thinking irrationally. So her statement of, is that their sole purpose? And, and then she doesn't like the way they said that. Rational, okay? Okay, that's one point rationale because that's not women's sole purpose. It's a primary purpose. Without it, their value decreases n nearly to where they are nearly unimportant. But is it their sole purpose? Of course not. But she doesn't like that it's their primary purpose. Okay. So. Ah, uh, and going on. Let, let me let her finish the statement here. Because she's got something to say. Like women are here solely for reproduction purposes. But we don't because we're women. But there are men out here also who feel like they can find other things in women other than sex. Like what? Unfortunately, a lot of guys just... So she finishes that statement where I know men. I know men that are respectful. There's men that respect women. So these are not direct accusations, but they are indirect accusations of these men saying that believing she does, they do not respect women because of this, the state of mind they have. And then she also goes on to say, I feel like men. That means she hasn't actually had this. She said, I know men. She does not. She then, she tried to qualify with saying, I know men. And then when she's questioning on that, she said, I feel like men would. So that means she doesn't actually have that personal experience because she would have lingered on that longer. She would have said, made, she would have had specifics in mind when she stated that. That's proving that these are thoughts coming from her own mind. This is the way she believes men thinks. And I truly believe this is what, the way she wants men to think. So, mental. <laughs> She's crazy. Uh, no, that, just, that statement's crazy. Uh, she exposed herself. And this is the start of the end. But not until she says a few more rational points. Emotional connection. No, 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 no. <laughs> but there are probably men out here. No, I've met men that are very respectful to women. No, no, but, but, you know no, what I'm saying? But, no, so but tell me what I'm not a man, so I can't sit here and give you those reasons. But what I'm saying is I've met men who have sat here and defended a woman's honor because of the fact that people will try and make it seem like we're here solely for reproductive purposes. Okay. I'm not being impregnated by a man one day. You feel Do me? You guys really believe so Haha. <laughs> And this is where we can see her trauma in her life. She has exposed herself more than she thinks. She has had to face the reality on this show that she is not a man. Being as she presents her lifestyle, you can tell. She, uh, I don't dare to say I know her personally. I don't even dare to say I know people like her. I am seeing what she is presenting. This is her public face. But she has made herself extremely vulnerable in this moment where she had to admit that I am not a man. Though in her life she tries to be and act as that and be that providing and that male and masculine energy around a female for a female. This is very important because then she says I cannot say what I think a man would say because I'm not a man but I know men that have defended women's honor because they don't think it's the sole purpose of women to bear children keep in mind if these men did exist what was the purpose of a man saying that game this is how you treat women so do they not feel disrespected so you can sleep with them. So they can have your children potentially. But the goal of a man reserving his, or, or, or restricting his tongue of rational sense 
towards a woman is to make sure they are comfortable in that they are comfortable in with his presence so that they do not feel, feel that he is intimidating to their mental health which females find so important self-care mental health narcissism that they throw around and and later she'll be on the attack mental point two for mental one for rationale all right let's go back in the fact that we we are here to carry children you know what i'm saying you guys can't carry children i understand that but the way that you're putting it is very insensitive is what i'm trying to say that's 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 the point i'm trying so to you're make. more you're more concerned with I the way we deliver the message versus the context of the message because how could you want a woman to carry your child and that's how you speak of a woman okay you feel me? so listen no but see even in the mm, sense of uh, you're trying to tell me that i don't like how mm, the conversation right, and it's right. uncomfortable uh-huh i can resonate towards what ash is saying but more in the religious or spirituality aspect I don't really care for the opinions or anything that's not a fact. A fact of the matter. I'm about to give you guys the facts right now. That cute girl right there that was talking at the end with the curly hair. I like her. She's actually really cute. She's she's nice in the face. Um, she has nice physical attributes. I believe that she is, she. I believe she's the girlfriend of this Ashley. Because she said, she's like, I can uh, see where she's coming from and she thinks that she can give an opinion without emotion. What she states next, which watch the stream. I'm not going to post, I'm speaking specifically about this Ashley character. Go to their live stream. Watch the full video and you'll see these personalities for yourself. This is one I had to pick out because this is something very important. This is, this Ashley, she's a lesbian. She is, she is what women want. They want a masculine figure that is like them. Right? And for fun. So they want, they don't want to be told they're wrong. They want to be coddled. So, especially if you consider a, a girl with mental issues, the, any, the, I'm not here to spare feelings. Anybody that practices a non-human supporting lifestyle has some mental health issues. Meaning the lifestyle that they're living, they're confused automatically, right? So they've, they're they already living out of space. They're out of touch with reality as, or natural way of life. They've reconstructed life, reconfigured life due to the things that we have available and the politeness that there is in the world and the tolerance that there is in the world that they're able to live out their delusion and that's what this mental means is this delusion right so she this girl has went, went through so much rigorous testing to see how she can be masculine what is it that female wants because i don't feel female i don't feel feminine i want to be like that like, I'm attracted to this feminine energy, so what are they really attracted to? Because they're not attracted to femininity. Or the ones that I like aren't attracted to femininity. So I'm going to copy the style of the male, the outward appearance of, uh, outward masculine appearances. Take some traits of, of rationale, see exactly what they're drawn to in the met mentality of a man, but then remove the things that are argumentative with woman. The things that cause rifts in between male and female, which is females want to be right even when they're wrong. This is not a, it's, it's a general statement. I haven't met most women. I've met a lot of women. 
It sort of holds. She's trying to keep this facade up. She's trying to build it back up. It's like, because I don't do this, because I have success with women, this is the way women said they want to be treated. This is how we should treat them, with sensitivity. Even when they're wrong, do not tell them that they are wrong because it hurts their feelings and I will not get sex from that. The only purpose of a homosexual, non-heterosexual relationship is for pleasure, strictly. Because there is no progress that can be made for the human race with that relationship. There is no constructive progress, nothing you will learn constructively that is necessary to the forwardness of the human species with anything besides heterosexuality and fertile humans. That is natural science. That is biology. If you don't agree, if you're offended, I'm sorry. Mental! <laughs> Let's not count her out the game yet. She might come back up. She might come back up. Okay. Play. So why is you guys are allowed to be up? She can't. Okay, let's have a concise argument here. What do you guys have an issue with in particular? Is it why why women are and on Earth? The fact that you said that women are only here for that's sex all. and reproduction. That's that's a problem. Okay, cool. All right, you said that. All right. Is it what no one else? Agree with what you is there? What else is there? Insensitivity. That's all. Okay. Fuck the insensitivity. That's that's, that's an emotional aspect. We're not even. But, like, but that is not... why we're being triggered. Yeah, though. yeah. But like I'm saying, you feel me? Because I'm... we're women and we feel a way about what they're saying. No, then you're gonna fact you're gonna, or you're not. Gonna, you're gonna go and agree with what they're basically saying with this whole I'm gonna thing. agree with what he's saying in terms of women will be able to women will die out if they didn't have reproductive organs but I stopped it at the butt right there she earned herself some brownie points she gets four she gets four points for that she brilliantly made rational sense by stating the th obvious, stating what Myron said, and if you want me to do a psychoanalysis of this redhead girl, I have done it already, but she's not my primary focus because she doesn't have an understanding. She, she's not comprehensive enough to, to take the information read. I, these are not personal attacks. These are observations. This is what you presented to the public. You decided to come on a very popular page um, and present yourself this way. So I am now making my response to the thing I have seen. If you want to prove otherwise, surely. People that know them personally, that's whatever. This is what I'm seeing. I'm responding to what I'm seeing. Not what I'm assuming. This is what is. This is what you've shown. Okay. So... Ashley, let's go back to her. Redemption! She made sense, rational, agreed with the, the way it was laid out, the facts. Goes back to being insens insens insensitive. And then the redhead girl has the audacity to say, oh, F the feelings, I'm not coming from an emotional place. And then she corrects the redhead girl's like, no, 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 that's why we're upset, because it's an emotional thing. Because we as women, that's why we're getting upset, because we're emotional about these things, we would die. Rational. So she gets an extra point. Just for just, she corrected her in that moment. And I, and when she said that, I'm like, wow. That's so much contrast what you, what you do and what you will do. But she's trying to, this is, this is her ploy at getting it on the side of the males. To show that she herself is um, agreeable. Right? This is her feminine quality peeking out because she, it, within the masculine tendency, we have to be on each other's page in a rule form of women who understands each other the most. This, the, because we're not thinking about a thousand things at one time. We have primary focus. So because these men were saying very few things, but they were very incitive for these women with their emotions. Yes, Ashley is under, able to understand that because she's trying to understand and understand the male mind because she's trying to replicate him. So she, in this moment, is being agreeable because that's part of what she has done and had to do in order to manufacture her personality, to be attracted for females.
Okay? These are things that since people that spare feelings will not tell you. Let's get back into it. It's not considerate to say that in a room full of women the way that he put it. He said, oh, you're going to be thrown to the wolves, some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. not cool. It's how and also, it. if women yeah. didn't yeah. have yeah. Yeah. if women didn't have reproductive yeah. organs, what what are men putting their that's what are you what putting your saying. sperm into? Yeah, that, okay. you're so not creating. I'm biology. saying with all that, you're not birthing any more children. Something? Let, let her you feel me? So yeah. essentially, you will die out yeah, as well. You feel me? So I feel like that was just very insensitive the way that you put it. It's not about what you were saying was completely wrong. I think it was wrong how you put it. Okay, so. Go ahead. Okay, so remember you said the island with the men and the women and the, yeah. men, the men were f So there, she's talking about the sensitivity. I don't, you shouldn't have put it that way. In a room for more women. This is not how you should speak to them. No, no, no. You're getting mad at the answer, the question being answered in the most realistic fashion. This girl in the middle, in the black, presented this question. Who would be superior? Who would rise up? Who would who would outmatch? Who would men? For these reasons, this is why that would happen. It's not that it's wrong. It's not that it's not factual. It's that it doesn't, doesn't feel good. <sighs> we take another point on the mental side. All right, now she's mental again. She's still up to for rational. She made up points with her re with with her with her backtrack. So she made up points. So she's winning with rational now. I'm being fair, this is all fair, but let's continue. Um, just because that's how women naturally are from the beginning. But People the point only is know this. what they're taught. The point is this. You chose it. People only know what they're taught. Yeah, and the lifestyle that you're brought up in and you don't if you're you're not born like, oh, I'm gonna become a nurse one day. Like all right. no. Mm -hmm. Chats. It's by no. your it's, it's, environment. It's, no, it is it's, not no no no. It's oh, choice. No, no, no. no. It's, choice. it's choice. It is choice. It's oh. choice. You it's can, choice. And that's why I feel like that's why but, men are in the position that they're in today because of how everybody was brought up. Everything is taught. You but, feel me? None of us know what the first person on earth looked like. Then that makes bitches dumb me? as fuck because why the fuck are dudes following that path? Oh, okay. Okay, I ended at the statement of this, of the black hair uh, girl. Okay. Uh, so let me respond to Ashley first. Everything is taught because everything is taught. She's not too far off. I'll give her one point. She's wrong. I mean, no, she actually, matter of fact, she's completely and 100% right. But what she is implying with this, and she didn't state this, but with the language and how she continues to repeat herself, everything is taught. Yes, everything is taught. But it's not always someone else teaching you. You teach yourself. So when you make choices, the skills that you learn is not always coming from someone else. You teach yourself nearly everything you know. You have to, anything that you do and you're good at is because you chose to do it. Whether or not it was introduced to you by someone else is beside the point. You're choosing to hone those skills, develop them. Now, there's a certain point of age and maturity where this choice is more limited because you don't know of the options. And that's why the, the, this gets real irrational in furthering this conversation um but she's not she's not off but the implication of it she's wrong and when uh the two hosts myron and i don't know his name i don't know his name i'm sorry um they came in and said no it's choice they should have clarified uh but it when you're on the, I, I'd be more than gladly come on uh, the show and do this live. I just have to sit and wait for some people to talk. But then also, as you see here, she said, you don't know when you're five. Or I believe she said, or she begins to say this. She is vulnerable. She is out in the open. She is re-exposing herself. There is a wound from her childhood that she is touching right now. There's something, that thing, it's a choice. But then also she is making, she's making excuses for herself because there's some things she's saying you're taught, but then I think maybe she believes she was born gay. So she's like, 
all these things, these jobs are, you're taught these. But biology, but because some things you're born with, it's like, it's not all biology, but these things are, so she's re-categorizing these, these things of natural versus unnatural. She already has a skewed view of unnatural versus unnatural because she's not taking responsibility or accountability for the, the choices that wi women make. So because she doesn't do it personally with certain things, she has to make the excuse for the entire gender. And this is a, a, a classical tactic that lots of people use. This is not simply her, this is not simply women. This is a human thing. This collectivism mindset. Say it's, I see a flaw in myself. So in order to excuse me, because I don't think it's that bad, I have to excuse everyone else's behavior. Right? With all their eccentricities and proclivity and proclivities, everything, this tolerance is ruining the world. This hyper negative destructive tolerance of human destroying lifestyles. Alright? So excuse me, mental. She's Still one up on rational. How does she do that? I don't. I gave her too many points earlier. Uh, I might have to take some back. But before I get back in, ho ho ho! What this black girl in the middle says? She said that women are effing stupid. I can't. I'm. The, that's not her. But uh, the this black the the, the girl in the black dress in the middle. She said it. Men didn't say that in this video here. She stated it out. Because of the freedoms of modern day, women don't have the same excuses for and restrictions that they did. So because they have the option and they are encouraged, in fact, to do anything a man can do, they are or they are deceived and they are and, and, and they are can recondition to think they can do anything a man can do, but they still choose not to go towards these things that make men the runners and the rulers of the world. The makers and shakers. The reason why the world would break if men did not exist. Well, the world would break if anyone did exist. The reason women would not survive to the end of their natural lives if men did not exist. Women are making these choices. There's no excuse besides your own. And she states it right here. And I don't think anyone else heard it. And it said, because men are choosing this path, she states it. I think they over -talk. I think no one hears that. I heard it. And she's right. But bitches are not. That makes no sense. So, so, so I get what you're saying. Who's to say me the roles weren't reversed? Our, you know what I'm saying? Me up, me up, us, um, on, history? A, a certain path. History? Yeah. But, but history. Okay, this is, a, this is a fair point. Who's to say... That's not the way it was. Rational questioning. I'll give a point for rational questioning. The implication of it, I hate. Mental. Two points on the mental side. Because she thinks she's got, it was a gotcha moment. Myron, he said, yeah, history. No, 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 no. Don't base this off of history books. You don't have to. You're going, you're using information that they don't believe. So when you say history, they say history, don't go, don't use an item to argue that the people are you will not accept. Go to where you've already established a rapport with. Something that they are willing to accept, continue in that lane. If you have the comprehension level to communicate on the level, stay in that level. Do not exceed something that they will not understand because then you're talking to a wall. Something that's not listening back to you. Okay, so I can break this down easy. Biology says this is not historically what would happen because men and women did not switch biological gonads and gametes. Women are the most vulnerable creature because when they are, they are, they are the holders of new humans, of life. They are the carriers of new life. That is the state in which they are most vulnerable. 
Men are the protectors of that. That's it. And they say, it, and they understand this. They didn't bring that out. That's easily squashed. They would have squashed it right there if these women had rational reasoning. But she would have come out and said, well, the women, some women don't intend to get pregnant. Some women are barren. They bring this up. Exceptions don't make the rule. They said it before. They could have squashed it like that. Simple. But don't bring in facts that won't be accepted. Because history, you don't, we weren't there for history. So you bringing in that fact, if you have the same information as they do, that you have the same access to information. But in terms of history, because it's, it's subjective, history is subjective. But we can tell the accuracies of it. And I'm actually on my channel, Trust All Truth, open mindedness. Go check that out. I displayed how to trust information. I, I've, I've laid that out pretty clearly. It's pretty extravagant and it goes off into veins. But I explained it there how to trust information, especially historical texts. Trust All Truth on YouTube, open mindedness, 101. Part one. All right. Back into it. Because just said what he just did. Like that, you have to understand. Literally, you have to think about it. When right. you were I born, were your parents, were your parents solely like, you know what? I don't give a damn if my if my kid wears a pink shirt or a blue shirt. I still accept my kid for who he is. Do your parents do your parents care about social stereotypes? Did your parent? I'm asking you can specifically. I, can I just be honest and did say, your parent wait, wait, wait. care about social stereotypes? Who's to say a woman, like if you if you decided you wanted to grow up at five years old and you said to your parents, "I want to become a nurse one day," would your parents look down on you? She said social stereotypes. I think she meant social. I would say more cultural. Uh, same thing. Very close. Very similar. What she's saying is a uh, a black stereotype, or maybe she's half white, maybe even or. Uh, it's social because it's an area she was in, but more cultural. So I believe she's trying to say that because she was more inclined towards towards male things that she was discouraged from that. She breaks open the box of... And, and watch this video in full context. I don't want to be accused of taking anyone out of context. Watch the video for yourself. I just clipped together this one particular girl so I can write that. Mental. <laughs> One for mental. If you're five years old, you know why this does not connect? Because she's saying five years old. The influence that a, that the environment has on a five-year-old versus the example that the the gentleman on the uh, on the right hand of the screen, the darker gentleman gave, was the aspect of influence and responsibility. The man that did these drugs um, or got caught for drugs had a consequence and face a consequence regardless of his environment. A five-year-old would not face consequences for their actions unless they follow through on follow through on in their later life once they can choose and un have the understanding of the results of their action. This 18-year-old or 16-year-old, whoever got caught the police, was driving. They knew the consequences of their actions and decided to do it anyway. They took the risk. A five-year-old does not have the understanding of these high-level risks versus things. Especially being a nurse. A five-year-old doesn't know what they're going to eat for breakfast nor dinner. They're not making a decision for a career at five years old. Nor are you choosing sexuality. So she's making false equivalencies. Because the guy on the right presented a story where someone has to take responsibility regardless of the upbringing. This five-year-old has no high-level life-altering consequences from the decision that they make as five, year old, as five years old as long as they have parents that care about them. Yes, your parents can influence you in certain directions. Once you become at the age of accountability, when you understand cognitively that you have control and responsibility over the actions that you do and the, the responsibility for the things you choose, when you have that cognitive ability to understand that, that consciousness, you're solely responsible for the result and consequences thereof. Mental! <laughs> uh, where are we at? 10 to 8. She's going overboard. <laughs> Alright, let's go back in. Let's go back in. First one day, would your parents look down on you at I, that age? 
Would they have looked down on you at that you're, age? You're, you're mad, right? You're, 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 switching, you're switching the goalpost up. I'm not trying to switch if, gears. Yeah, I'm are. trying to make an example because just as he just brought up growing up in the hood and selling drugs is the same way I'm trying to take this example and relate it to this conversation. I'm going to bring the connection in, but I'm asking you a question first. So as a, as a man, if Not I wanted question. to be a nurse... No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. Not a problem. Just finish. It's okay. As a man, right, if I said to my parents, I want to be a nurse, you ask me a question, how would they feel about it, right? Probably as a guy, they'll be like, you know what? I don't want you to be a nurse. Mm-hmm. Right. So what was the point? You only know what you're taught. That is my point. My but, point is... Yeah. If my parents didn't, as a young age, tell me, you know what, Ashley, you can't become an engineer one day. You can't become a plumber because that's what boys do. Mm -hmm. I only know what I'm taught, so I'm not going to become a plumber or an engineer. You feel me? She keeps saying you feel me. She really wants to be accepted. This is language that she's going to use with males. Do I know that for certain? I don't. She's vulnerable. She opened herself up. It's not my fault I catch these things. Well, yes, it is. <laughs> she is projecting very heavily into this situation. She's saying, if my parents didn't tell me at a young age, Ashley, you can't be a plumber or yada, yada, yada. That's what boys do. Did her parents discourage her from doing masculine activities? Quite potentially. And in that discouragement, and, and I, I bet the parents didn't do a good job. I'm not, that's not a child's fault that your parents don't do a good job parenting you. That's not the child's fault. That's your parents' fault. They're incompetent. And this is what you've turned out to be. Someone that is living in a land of, in, in a mindset of delusion, which is not unique. This is not a unique placement for women or anyone today. We are led to believe in delusions of the world. TrustAllTruth.com Trust All Truth YouTube channel. I explain it there a little bit. Don't be delusional. She was discouraged from participating in Xavier's. When she got older, she took responsibility and was like, Hey, this is what I want. And look at what she's presenting as. More masculine. Trying to dress like... I'm asking dude, like, uh, what they call them studs, you know, she's trying to dress like a stud. She got a cute girl too, I'm saying, it's so, she's doing something that's working. She's got a cute girl, but that girl that she has is ditzy, delusional. So, uh, no, she's already got her, her mental point, no need in putting another one up. Let's finish this video out. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and, and just yeah, by but... myself decide I want to become a plumber. Because of the fact that one, people are telling me that's what boys do, and two, yeah. I only see men doing it. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Can't finish. I, I forget that she keeps saying more stuff. Mental, but understandable. It's a it's a rational line of thinking for the resources that you have. So because you're encouraged societally, and this is what's been taught to girls, be whatever you want to be. This is what taught to everyone now. Be what you want to be. You don't have to, whatever traditional things are, break them down, which is like whatever. But it also enters in delusion where you're confused. So this is in the line of the confusion aspect of that. So here we are, she's saying, I'm not going to do this because I was discouraged from doing it. And I don't see anyone else that looks like me doing it. That means you don't want to do it. Because why would you let someone else's non-action discouragement of something that you feel like you have a positive impact towards influence you to stop doing that thing. That means you're not convicted enough or you don't want to do that thing. Are you lying to us? You not actually want to do those jobs enough to disregard those, those, those discourage of other people. You need other people. You need validation. That's what these women seek, no matter what they present to us. They need it. Validation from some sort of source. And you, that's supposed to come from their childhood. Their parents are supposed to raise them correctly. Their fathers are supposed to encourage them to. That's what it is. We'll talk about that later. I'm enjoying this. She's lovely. She's polite. But she's not. She's 
true in her own world right now. And, and if I'm being honest, this is not the aim of their show. They are trying to have these arguments. They are not inside the minds of, 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 these, of these girls. They, could, they have these experiences around them and their actions outwardly. And they can have considerations of how they came to be this way. But it's so individual. I look into the life of each individual girl, and this is Ashley. What she's presenting. And there's much more. She's much more than what I'm make than what I'm stating. This is just what I'm showing. She's this observably, and she's even more observably to those that know her. I don't know her, never met her. But she is vulnerable, and I'm thankful that she's vulnerable enough to because she that means she wants to learn. One of the reasons she want to learn, maybe get more game from more girls in the future. But hey, we'll see. Cause the you, just think about it. The moment men change, women are going to have to adapt to men changing. So when women change, yeah, men have to adapt in order to have sex. But guess what? We're still, this is, this is, this is not, this should not be, I'm going to say something that's really going to be triggering for some folks. When women change, men are decent enough to change for you. They don't have to because we're stronger than you. We want to make your life easier so you want to be around us. We don't have to do that. We are stronger than you. If we wanted to have what we want from you, which is sexual relationships and children, we are strong enough to make that happen against your will. But we discourage that behavior in ourselves and in other males. Because we want you to love life as much as we love it. And we are making it more enjoyable for you as you do for us. And that's a per per perpetual cycle. That's a symbiosis of male and female. It's a lovely thing. Don't ever think if you want to have a legacy, you need a female. Or you need a person of the opposite gender to have the best legacy possible. The male waxers for, for women... Parts. Male masseuses. It's a choice you have to make. Either way, my parents might say A, B, C, D. I can do X, Y, Z. It's Yo, my choice. You cannot, you so cannot if it's a blame. choice, then how are, how are you trying to say all of this is biology? It's not. It wasn't set in stone. It's not in your blood yeah, that no. you need to become a plumber or an engineer and not a nurse. You get what I'm saying right now? I feel like no, there's... because because you're trying to absolve yourself of responsibility. You're a human being with free will and free choice. You choose what career you go into. Okay, yeah. You cannot blame something. social conditioning as to your personal choices. And as a matter of fact, I He say, we say what I said there. It's saying it's not in your biology, not set in stone. For you, your individual biology is set in stone. Your blood is into it. If, are you into sex? I don't think so. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't even claim, explain that. I'm gonna leave it in there because I'm gonna show you I make mistakes and correct them immediately. I don't know if you're into sex. Your biology, is usually set in stone. Unless, of course, you get the vaccine, you change your DNA. <laughs> oh. All right, let's continue with the next. No, no, I'm talking I'm to sorry, these two. I'm talking, to the, there, I'm, I'm talking to the couple. I'm talking to the couple and her. There, there wouldn't be any world, honestly. There yeah, wouldn't be there, any, like, would like, there would be It's not like whatever. you guys would go forward. Like, if Remember, you're saying that. I said that survival. Means... Women need men for survival. Right. No, yes, we, do. we don't. Okay, so then that yeah, small population of men that no, are left on Earth. Because the remember how I women... said, one out of time. One out of time. How do you not? Then? Uh, she's stating the obvious. This is, I guess, she didn't like that. She, they didn't state that men would die eventually too. They think men would just keep procreating. I, it was, it should have been a rational assumption that is that's what you needed the word survival in order to get agreement. She says on the rational, yeah, the men would die off. Yes. But they would live to the end of their natural lives, more than likely. The weak men would be the the F boys, you know. You you, you want to talk about history? <laughs> when men went to war, guess what happened? They had them little boys in the back, and they did their business because they got to get their jollies off. Men got relieved that stress, and a hand just don't cut it all the time. I don't agree with that behavior. I think it's fucking disgusting. However bring up history, women are highly important, but sometimes they place value of themselves higher than they actually are, especially when it comes to survival of men of themselves. Just understand, it's, it's not that hard to understand. It's very easy, it's very simple. 
uh, it's rational. It doesn't involve feelings, but you involve your feelings by being disagreed. That's the simple terms of it. And this redhead girl, I really, please, if this video does well, more, better than my other videos, meaning gets over 100 views or something like that, I'm gonna do a analysis on the redhead girl because I've got one ready. I'm gonna I'm be honest with you, what you just said, the way that you just put it just now is how you could have put it the whole time. But, yeah, why but did the you say that? But, you, but, you let us get to the point. Stop, you're done. The, with, uh, <laughs> you see, talking? stuff yeah, like that. She's like speaking the, right the, now. Like the let petty. her speak. Yeah. Stop interrupting. My There's bad. too I much. Apologize. I didn't mean to do too that. Too many. You're good. There's Thank too you. many insensitive little back and forth and the oh. meh, 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 meh. Like, that's so, like, like you can't call someone else unprofessional and then come off unprofessional. You get what I'm saying? So, I understand that this is your show. You invited us here. Very grateful for that. You understand what I'm saying? Just... The way that you're putting certain things, it, it was just uncalled for in the moment, which was probably about 20 minutes ago. Where she's coming from? Is it rational? Sure. I'm not giving her a point for that, because guess what? She started to agree when she started seeing the women agree. Because she already knew the truth. At the beginning, she's like, yeah, 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 that's right. But then she started being argumentative when other women were being argumentative. This is this. They have a relationship. So that 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 little thing there, where where Myron put the other girl in check, and then she apologized to her across the table. She's like, no, that's okay. There's some type of relationship going on there. Not girlfriend, but they are familiar. This they're familiar. So I don't know how, but they're familiar because this was a. They had they had an understanding of respect. She wasn't offended by that. She actually wasn't offended by this. Respect. But because of the quality of your show, this is what the, how the way show was. So now she's trying to correct. The way that they run the show. Shouldn't have done that. It's not your show. Mental! And she realized that. It's your show. Be respectful. I pre she's like, I appreciate it. Just because you're nice doesn't mean that you're right. Mental! We're at 15. I'm sorry. I didn't... This is not my... This she, she starts... She's, she's actually speaking very nice right now. Right? And, but now she's saying, I, I guess you should have put it like this the whole time. You understood the whole time. You just wanted a key word, survival. This definition of survival got brought out. This redhead girl does, it, I don't know, I don't get it. She started being agreeing and then somehow she, that triggered her saying, you should have said that the whole time. And now she's saying that too. He didn't have to say anything. Ashley, you knew the entire time. There's no disagreement. You were waiting for the other women to catch on. Come on. If you want to be like the men, put these women in check. Sometimes they need to be corrected. But you said, oh, we need to be sensitive. Consider their feelings in a room full of women. No, 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 no. Facts don't care about your feelings. Reality doesn't change based on upon the environment you're in. Your perspective of it does. Mental! Okay. You feel me? But the way that you put it just now, I respect that. And I understand where well, you're coming Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's that's, take it back. That's, that's, so your issue... That's all I have to say. Your issue is that I don't the way, have an issue. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I already explained to you what I said before, and I said it was an issue before, and now it's not an Tell issue Tell me anymore. where I, I lied and didn't say a fact, though. Did I ever say that you lied and didn't say a fact? Okay, there we go. So your issue is with the way it was said. Yes. Yeah. Now she's being... Now it's irrelevant. She's being extremely feminine here. You see that she hasn't quite acclimated to her surroundings. She feels an authority over her, more masculine energy. She probably has passings with masculine, with males, in order to sort of get a few things for them, from them. But she's never been in an environment where she's challenged intellectually, where there's a room of women that is hot for the pickings. These men here potentially want to smash these chicks too. But they have options, more options. She, there's only a certain amount of women that want to sleep with women. So she's making sure she's as agreeable as possible so any potential females out there won't be put off. Especially since it's going along, hey, the honeys be swinging in. So I have no doubt that people agree with her, going to try to be finding out where she is, you know? That's how these things work. That's how these social things work. She's trying to represent the best part of herself, so if someone contacts her, you know where my mind is. I'm defending women. Men can't talk to us like that. I'm the one you need. I have the masculine features. You are a, 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 
a, a male energy with a female touch and the female sensitivity, I'm your man, one man, I'm your, that's what that is. And of course I'm playing up a little bit, you know, <laughs> and not to be, you know, I don't care if it's insensitive, but you know, there's, there's certain types of, of things that I don't like picking fun at people that often. I don't do it often, but I need to, because these things are just ridiculous. They're stupendous, astounding, quite frankly. All right, um, yeah, there's really not much to say about that. She's repeating herself. She knew what she's talking, she's trying to save face right now. I respect you for that. I don't need your respect, you already understood. You, if you said there's no problem, then you shouldn't have lost res respect for me when I didn't say anything wrong. I was not being disrespectful. Being offended by something not disrespectful is not... Taking offense to something that is not intended is a personal problem. That's what, And the girl with the red hair stated she didn't care, so why are you caring? You're being more feminine than her right now, saying, Oh, you should have stated that you don't care about feelings. That was obvious by saying facts over and over and over again that we understood that was causing a rile in you. But we kept saying it the same way and kept explaining it. The more that you disagreed, we explained the reality, natural states. What is the rule that you're We got saying? any more questions? Yeah. yeah. Uh, other right, other right. than this topic, like anything off of this topic, honestly. Because if we all determined there would be no resolution, we should move on. No, no, we resolved it. Y'all are in your feelings. We're right. You're the one still mm -hmm. talking about it. No, Let's move on, uh, please. No, no, no. Like I said, I just want to make that extremely clear. Oh. But okay. That we're Ladies. right. Sorry. Okay. We went oh. off facts. And that is why Y'all are emotionally men triggered. are the way that they are. Very so ignorant. Wait, we are not allowed to I'm be ignorant right? for stating facts. That is ignorance. To sit here and want to prove a point in a room and make sure that everybody in that room knows that you were right and the next person was wrong, that's ignorance. That's what I'm no, like, it's not ignorance be right. because it you is. guys have come. No, 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 no. It is. No. It is. Because you guys came on the platform. It is. You diluted. It is. Are you going to no. keep doing that? It is. You're going to keep being disrespectful. It is. All right, get the fuck out. No problem. We'll talk. Get out. All right, go ahead. Appreciate you. Get out. All right. Ignorance. <sighs> All right, keep going in name calling. Just just walk out, you're good. Turn the cameras on. Yep, it's on. And you're gonna go. She got too emotionally invested. It is, it is, it is, it is. What? <laughs> I thought you were the rational one and you made, you made more of a fool of yourself than the people that thought they were more intellectually inclined than they were and they couldn't explain themselves but you were someone that was actually the most agreeable and most outspoken in your agreement with the facts but you were so in defense of your feelings those two things can't coexist unless you're in control of your irrational feelings you came out and said that's why men are the way they are like I've said She's trying to be the solution to the male. She lives in this fantasy, or tried to live in this fantasy, where men are not necessary. Because she knows that's not true, she's like, men are necessary for me to have girls in order for me to have access to more females. When, a broken, when there's a broken female out there, they come to me. Keep on breaking hearts, buddy. I'll be right there in super sign. Like I said, girls in distress with mental health issues are more inclined to make non-rational decisions as well as being sexually experimentative when you're having a crisis. Usually that happens. There's a certain type of crisis where identity crisis, or where they don't see it as an identity crisis, but they see it as youthful experimentation. No, that's just because you don't know who you are. You're trying to find out who you are by finding all these new experiences that you think that you need while you're young. And that's what ruins you. Okay, back to this what mental. Jesus Christ. Going to attack the people that you have say you didn't have an issue with. You became increasingly disrespectful towards the end. Because you felt you're in defense of what? You already said they were right. You acknowledged that they were right. What are you upset about? The truth? No. It's the vulnerability, like I said. And I'm not angry at her. I'm just, I'm just like, hey, you need some help. Honestly. And this is, I, I have, I'm not opposed to 
removing this video and, and talking with this individual privately if this ever finds them um, I'm not opposed to that whatsoever. If you all like that that happens, see, I actually want to improve people's lives as much as possible. Because I don't know everything that these gentlemen have stated. But, because this is the only live stream I've watched of this, there's some things I already disagree with with what they say about the way things should work. I, or, or should work in the way men should move. I understand, that's the reality of the situation when, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a market for, uh, for a certain thing. Higher your standards, males. Have more patience with your libido. Have more patience. I'm going to talk about this later because men should not have, be having sex all willy-nilly as they think they should. Multiple partners committed in a relationship, multiple committed partners, that's, what, that's different. Having lots of sexual partners on a frequent, I don't condone that because then you're complaining that there's there's not enough quality women when you it's a it's a cycle of of, of of culture and they're perpetuating this culture of hey because women are doing this we got to play and adjust to that game yeah you do if you're trying to play that game I'm not playing that game and I'm not going to encourage that game never will this girl Ashley disrespectful. At, at that end there. The key word she was saying at the end there. Ignorance. She has no idea what ignorance is. Mentor! I want to say, you consistently making sure that you're right, and no, it's not making sure I'm right, it's making, it's, it's making sure the information and the truth I'm giving you that you have asked for or that I can provide because of a mindset you're expelling because this is so impactful in your life knowing this information and holding this as true that to restructure the way you think and understanding the truth about reality it is important and it would be ignorant of for me not to use this opportunity to make sure you understand that so going forward in your life that you make better decisions when you are presented with certain choices and the way you think about things, this will be an incredible reflection, your understanding of this very, very simple brain exercise that doesn't, it's not deep. This is not a deep conversation. It's a question with a rational answer based on natural, natural capabilities of men and women as presented today. Don't think about history. Think about today with all modern conventions. Women can wield weapons, but who builds the weapons and who knows how to use the weapons most effect? Women can get stronger than men, but who is it easier to build muscle mass and has a natural aptitude and, and bone structure that to hold more muscle mass and get it on faster and hold it? Biological. Nature is unfair. Not the answer to the question. I was quite frankly disappointed. She, she, it was a pleasant surprise. I'll give, no, I, 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 I'm not going to be polite. I'm not going to be nice. I was going to give her a brownie point for, for, for earlier. I gave her enough brownie points. She's got non-rational and she's got 24 mental. And this is not just for women of that sort of persuasion. Understand that, gentlemen. Understand that, women. You, when you are emotionally vulnerable or emotionally unstable as presented with your capacity to understand rationale and comprehend it accept it if you are too disagreeable with the state of reality as agreed upon by everyone and as biology dictates your disagreement with that is what causes your insanity it's not the people that disagree with you because they can be no, it doesn't matter if someone is telling you you're wrong and explaining why you're wrong and then you, add, if you truly want to learn, listen. Uh, if there's anything you want me to clarify, anything you believe I missed, certainly leave the comments below. Come back to breathing is highly dangerous. I, I, I'm, I'm starting this back up. Um, I, I'm getting back into it. Check out my previous videos if you want to know more about the world and trust our truth, of course. Thank you, for Fresh and Fit, for having this um, this platform with this one. This is something I actually was trying to do myself. Believe it or not. But, you know, I don't have the resources right now, but I'm glad that these are out there, so maybe I'll, we, can, we can do something together in, in the future. That'd be uh, amazing. All right, be blessed, stay blessed, and I'll see you on the next one. Check out that final score. And it actually happens.
uh, <laughs> I had a, uh, a lesson about uh, victimhood I did not too long ago, so that's still up there. Um, that video will be up on Trust All Truth in a few weeks here. Still uh, completing editing to that, but rational, nine, mental, 24. All right, no, Ashley, if you need help, hey, get professional. I'm not gonna lie to you, so come to me. Um, I have no incentive, I don't want your money. If you wanna pay me, sure. But I will, I'm willing to dedicate my time uh, to whatever you need. All right, be blessed. Or any of the other girls that are on this platform, hey, if you got some things you need, you need an ear. I don't want anything from you besides your, your ear to listen and your open-mindedness to understand, absorb, and, and potentially change. All right, be blessed, stay blessed, and I'll see you all in the next one.